Following the non-cooperation movement recently launched by the ad hoc teachers, Chief Minister Konrad Sangma on Wednesday said that the state government was examining the demands of the ad hoc teachers, stating that it won't be easy to fulfill the demands as it involves huge financial implications. The Chief Minister said that the government was looking at various revenue sources to meet the demands. Meanwhile, Sangma also informed that the government has approved a proposal to construct 200 lower primary school buildings and renovate over 1,800 schools in the state. The ad hoc teachers are demanding uniform enhancement of Rs 18,000 for all categories and 5% increment every year. We are concerned about the, um, the non-cooperation aspect and uh, the different uh, demands of the teachers. And, uh, uh, and this is where the challenge for us lies because uh, this has large and huge financial impact. And therefore, uh, it's not simple and easy for us to simply go ahead with it, uh, whereas at one point in time we have constraints in terms of our revenue and that's the reason why we are exploring the options of gaming and seeing whether we can raise revenue because how else to meet the demands of the teachers and how else to meet the demands of other, uh, uh, you know, for development activities. So we need to balance out both. So we are examining uh, these aspects. Uh, I, uh, we'll be talking to the teachers also, and the Honourable Education Minister has already started those discussions. So let us see. I don't think it will be appropriate for me to give any uh, details right now, but all I can say is that we are examining the matter very, very seriously, and we are in discussion with the teachers. And I just had a meeting this afternoon with the Education Department regarding the expansion of our school renovation projects. So you'll be happy to know that another 100 and 200 schools will be given new buildings and about 1800 LP schools will be renovated at a cost of 2 lakhs to 3 lakhs. Uh, we have just cleared that proposal today um, and uh, close to about 170 crores will be sanctioned through different sources for improvement of infrastructure and renovation and creation of new buildings in over 2000 schools. 200 of them will be new buildings and 1800 plus minus will be for renovation. So in that meeting, we discussed about this ad hoc issue also. Um, so we're examining it. Uh, I don't want to give more details right now.